Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bonnier, Overtime Athletes with my friend once again, John Madden, professional pitcher for the Padres and Mets organization. Appreciate you, appreciate you coming Thanks, on again, absolutely. Uh, we've done a series, we've done velocity, we've done a couple things as far as mechanical, as far as pitching. Today what he's gonna share with you guys is a little bit about accuracy and some tips as far as accuracy goes. Now, accuracy is very important. Obviously everyone talks about pitching velocity, but if you can't command the baseball and put it where you want to, you're not going to be effective. So there's four pillars when it comes to pitching accuracy that I talk about a lot. The first is consistency. We have to be consistent with our movement, with our mechanics. If we're different every single time we're pitching, we're going to be different in the strike zone with our pitches, right? We're not going to be consistent. So we have to be consistent with our movement to be consistent in the zone. The second thing that I talk about is conviction. Conviction just means the belief in your mind and in your heart that you're gonna throw that ball where you're trying to throw it. You have to have the belief in what you're doing, full belief and committing to that pitch when you throw it. Because if you're like, oh, uh, you know, fastball inside, I hope I don't hit this guy, or oh, it's 3-2, I don't wanna walk this guy, that's not having conviction, that's not having the belief. You have to believe in it. Catcher says fastball inside, you go, got it, here we go. That's having the conviction, the belief, and you're gonna be a lot more successful with your pitching accuracy if you have that belief. The third thing is visualization. Okay, there's two parts of visualization. First is seeing the pitch before it happens. What I used to do is I used to see like a little laser. I keep my eyes open when I was doing it, but I saw a little laser of the path of the pitch before it happens. So I already saw it happen. Then I go ahead and execute upon what I just saw. Okay, the mind is a powerful thing. And when you visualize, a lot of times you're gonna have more success in where you're trying to throw that baseball. The second, the second part of visualization is you can throw a bullpen in your mind. You could just sit there with your eyes open, your eyes closed, maybe you're laying in bed at night, and take five minutes and throw a bullpen in your mind and hit every single spot. Have the catcher moving and hit him right in the glove. There was a study done in Australia that showed a guy who threw darts with his left hand and they measured those darts from the distance of the bullseye. Then for one month, all he was allowed to do was visualize five minutes a day throwing darts with his left hand. Again, he's right-handed, throwing darts with his left hand. He wasn't allowed to practice or throw any more darts. Only five minutes a day of visualizing. He came back the month later and his distances were twice as close and he hit the bullseye a few times. So we can do that as baseball players, five minutes a day before you go to bed, visualize, visualize yourself throwing a bullpen and hitting every single spot that you throw to. The fourth thing when it comes to pitching accuracy is body control. We have to be able to control our body. We have to be able to have the strength, the mobility, the flexibility, the movement that, to be consistent in our movement. So it's a full circle. If we can have body control, then we can be consistent with our movement. So those four things, those are the four pillars of pitching accuracy. And if you wanna be a more accurate pitcher, you gotta start working on those four things. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate it. If you guys are interested more as far as pitching, you can check him out, You Go Pro on YouTube and get some more tips. I know you have other positions as well on there and different things that you guys can take if you're a baseball player. So again, I appreciate you so Thank much. Thank you so man. much. Thank you, absolutely. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.